Hello. Before we get started with the tech news this week, I was just, I just thought I'd check in. Are you, are you doing okay? Are you having a good week? I hope you are, but if you're not, I can totally empathize with you this week. I don't know, just like my throughput and my output have not been up to my standards. It's been a good week. I've had some high points for sure. And I hope you know that sincerely getting the chance to hang out with you every week is definitely one of those high points. Just not quite there this week. So if you're feeling the same way, I feel you. I'm sorry. Let's both work through this. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's get into the news. The big news this week happened really late in the week. It was the Columbia River Pitch Competition put on by Ty Oregon. This is part of a, a three-part pitch competition that they're putting on. The first one was in Washington County, which was the West Side Pitch Competition. This one it took care of Multnomah and Clark County. So if you're not familiar with the region, Multnomah County is in Oregon. Clark County is in Washington. They're directly across the river from one another, but part of the Portland metropolitan area. So this was a pitch for companies in those counties and uh, looked like a great event. I got to watch some of the pitches because they were kind enough to live stream it. And I will link up the live stream recording. <laughs> it will help me to link up the live stream because they're not live streaming anymore. But I will link up the live stream recording so that you can watch those pitches if you would like to. But tell you what, save you a little bit of time. I'm just going to read off the winners for you here so you know who walked away with the prizes at the Columbia River Pitch Competition. And don't forget, there's one more coming up in Clackamas County. But for Multnomah County and Clark County, here are the winners. The People's Choice Award went to Oily out of Clark County. The Pre-Seed Award went to Goddess Moose out of Multnomah County. Seed Runner Up went to Air Deck AI out of Clark County. And the Seed Winner went to Sip Herbals from Multnomah County. And they, I believe, have also appeared on Shark Tank. So they got to be pretty good at that pitching. So if you get a chance, watch those. But those are the winners. I'm sure there'll be more news coming out. But I think those are some really important companies in the region to keep an eye on. So I, of course, will be doing that for you, even if you don't feel like doing that. Cool? Cool. I think this can't get any worse. I don't know, it might, might get better. You'll just have to subscribe and find out. Had an acquisition this week, uh, maybe a company that you might not have heard of uh, called Easy Home. That was a local Portland startup that, uh, you know, I met the founder long, long ago as he was beginning his journey, and he's been kind enough to keep me up to date on what they've been building. And it was just a kind of like quiet, startup that was building a really valuable business and meeting a market need but not making a terribly big deal out of it but apparently it is kind of a big deal because they just got acquired by fixel which will enable them to take their technology to a much bigger and broader platform what easy home does is really help with home repairs and 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 home maintenance and those kind of things um, and they'll be now bolted on to all the the services that Fixel provides. Now the terms of the deal were not disclosed, but I have heard that it, this is a soft landing for the team as well. So it's not just a technology acquisition, it's a talent acquisition as well. So congratulations to the Easy Home team. I hope you like your new home at Fixel and I hope everybody enjoys working together after this acquisition. Uh, you know, I like the accelerators. I run an accelerator. I help with accelerators. I mentor at other accelerators. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the accelerators. I can't help it. And the latest accelerator I want to tell you about is the Cascadia Clean Tech Accelerator, which has just announced their latest cohort, which includes two Portland area companies. The first one is Eco Badlands, which is working on really helping people with electric vehicles better enjoy vacations and travel by making recharging and charging easier. I think that's the easiest way to put it. 
that's what they're working on. So if you're traveling, it's not a huge hassle for you. You know where you're going to plug in. If you're at an Airbnb, you know what you're going to do to recharge your vehicle. They're working all that out. And so they're part of the clean tech accelerator. And then the other one is humankind homes. Full disclosure, Humankind Homes is an alum of Pi, which is an accelerator program that I run. They're working on improving the efficiency and cost of, of building housing and making sure that it's more environmentally friendly. So congratulations to those two companies on making it in to the Cascadia Clean Tech Accelerator. I'm already looking forward to their demo day to see how these companies have progressed. You may have seen a few posters around town for an event called Blend that's happening June 7th through the 9th in the Goldsmith Blocks in Old Town. Blend sounds super interesting. It's really trying to like cross-pollinate among like music and art and design and also really just rekindle some energy, some in-person energy down in Old Town. So if that sounds interesting to you and if you've got some free time this weekend, I suggest you taking a look at Blend. Of course, I'll link it up below. And if you want a ticket or you want to attend, I'd highly encourage you to do so. It should be an amazing, inspiring event and probably pretty entertaining too. You know, I already kind of mentioned Clark County, but if you're in Portland and you're looking for an excuse to travel up across the Columbia River to Vancouver for an event of some sort, Wednesday has two opportunities for you. If you're more a morning person and you want to do a morning event, they're the start of conversations in the Couve taking place on Wednesday. If you're more of an evening person or maybe a podcast type person, the Portland Podcast Meetup is going north of the river to Vancouver to make it convenient for a lot of their Vancouver attendees. That happens around happy hour. If you're interested in podcasting or connecting with more podcasters from the Portland area, then please consider heading up to Vancouver for that. Two great events up there in Vancouver. Maybe just spend the whole day up there. I don't know, maybe go go in the morning, listen to the start of conversations in the Couve, and then hang out, have lunch, maybe do a little co-working, and then head to the podcast, gathering at happy hour. Could be a great day in the Couve for you. Weather should be good, too. I know I said this at the beginning, but I hope you're doing okay. Please hang in there, <laughs> and I'll try and do the same. And until we get the chance to chat again, please. Keep up the good work. Were you kind of hoping the episode would be better than this? Don't worry about it. I got a better episode right here.